Without doubt, eyeliner can be one of the most stressful treatments in permanent makeup. Eyes are sensitive and can swell, and for the artist, your pigment can flood, lashes can splash, and this can make it really hard to see what you're doing, and your stress levels can rise. With each eye, you have about 20 minutes before the swelling kicks in and starts pushing back, so making every second count is vital. A clean area and quick implantation help this procedure so much, so I'm going to pass on my 10 top tips to make your permanent eyeliner run smoother. If you already do these, then great, and I'd also love it if you shared your own tips in the comments below. But if I helped one person feel less stressed, then I'll be happy. Firstly, I always use a long tapered needle. This is a short tapered needle. The pigment flows out quickly and it's hard to control. Lots of mess. Look at this long tapered needle in comparison. It's much more controlled and a much cleaner result. I like textured needles too for this reason. I'll demonstrate with a kitchen experiment. This skewer is smooth and all the oil just runs off. This one has a textured surface and it clings onto the oil. The same goes for textured needles. They control the flow of pigment so you can see what you're doing. So I'm gonna demonstrate this with the machine turned off, but often, especially if you've got somebody with quite curly lashes, when we stretch the lashes, it can bend them over and we need to be working at 90 degrees with our needle to the skin. So sometimes if you come in between the lashes, the needle can vibrate against the lashes and spray pigment everywhere. So often I like to hook in behind, come in between the lashes and then work. When I'm loading my needle with pigment, I only pick up a small amount. I also dab the first bit out onto some gauze and this stops the pigment from collecting and putting out a big blob when you make contact with the skin. I also clean the outside of my needle cartridge a lot so that if it touches the lashes, there's no pigment to spray around. It does mean turning my machine on and off a lot, but for me, it's worth it. The trick with eyeliner is to concentrate on working slowly. It's far better to slow your hand speed down and finish in a couple of passes than keep going back and forth, making the skin swell. Work slower to finish faster. Remember that a faster speed on your machine combined with a slower hand will implant quicker. Don't be afraid to turn your machine up a little. One of the most painful parts of this treatment for clients is the wiping. It's far kinder to use sterile wipes than gauze, which makes the skin sore. Also, they're really cool and soothing. While working, it's a really good idea to rinse the lash line so that you can see what's really implanted. A substance like pigment seal will also soothe the skin. If your liner isn't implanting the way you hoped, then change something. You have a limited time before the lid starts to swell. I sometimes use various needles for different phases of the treatment. I used three different needles for this liner. I outlined with a 1RL, used a 3RL to fill in and then changed to a 5RS for the lash line and then tidied up the line again with a 1RL. The bottom line was done with a 3RL. I hope you found some value in this video and I'd love you to share any liner tips you also have and spread the love. Once again, if you have any questions on this, then please ask in the comments. See you soon.